as a fighter pilot, you never see any blood unless it's your own. And a bomber pilot, a bomber crew, that's different because there are 10 men in the airplane. And when flack of... The only time I ever got sick, I escorted, we were escorting B-17s to Ploesti. Reef flew top cover above the bombers. When we got to the target, after five, four hours, three and a half hours to get to Ploesti, we, the bombers, the B-17s, get to the IP, the initial point, approximately 20 miles to 30 miles from the target, and they turn left and head to, over the target, by the way, there's a big black cloud from 20,000 to 30,000 feet, 15 to 20, 30 miles in diameter, a black cloud where, where the, the flak, anti-aircraft flak is bursting, leaving these black. The bombers head for the, for the big black cloud. We go over and sit, leave them, sit on the other side, waiting for them to come out of the, bar, the bomb run. As the B-17s went into the cloud, all of a sudden, you see one come out the bottom, turning, spinning, it's on fire. And your radio cooks, bail out, damn it, bail out, bail out, with a lot of other curse words. And, and all of a sudden, you see one parachute come out, this damn thing is turning, it's burning, smoke, another parachute comes out, and then all of a sudden, the darn thing says, whoosh. Son of damn. I just saw eight men die. The realization of death never hits you until you actually see it. That's when I got sick inside of the... I'm sitting up there at 27,000 feet with an oxygen mat. I get sick and I puke and vomit. Fill up the... And you take it and shake it out. Got to get rid of it because then you got to suck on some more oxygen. Death at... 27,000 feet. As a, as a fighter pilot, we never see it unless it's somewhere else. 